Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> but she's just too elegant. <clears throat> she's just too elegant. She's, uh, she's uh, Thank you. We haven't made a decision yet. Uh, we, we, we fell in love with Calabria, with the uh, little village. Our original inspiration was sort of a vantage point of view of the village of Con questa vista di Gugliel, che sembra un po' di lato. Pentadati da Nier Melito. Right, right on the tip of the road. Right there. The tip of the boot of the country. And, uh, and then we found another village there, uh, which was a little more uh, uh, inhabited and civilized. Uh, that we would use to pretend like it was one village, which was called Bova. And then this, and then this week we, we looked at uh, uh, Banja Bridge and also up in Piemonte, uh, Monte Chiaro, and I believe uh, Mont Baldo in uh, uh, Piemonte, near, near Aquitaine, very near Aquitaine, in the studio in Torino. I hope so. My my Rigard films from Roma. They you know they're they're talking all the time. I'm hoping. I mean it's the most beautiful stage, gorgeous stage. So I hope I hope so. But I must I need the business to be done. <laughs> well, on the border of Lazio and Tuscano, a band of Reggio. Are you sure you're going to film that? No, we don't know. We, we have to make the decision because it will depend on whether we use stages in Roma or stages in Roma. Then you say, oh, we're going to have a studio that we have in Italy, in Roma, or we have to be in Roma. So we're going to have a private stage. Well, in Cinecittà, or private stages here in Roma. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just telling Mindy, um, and she'll have to these names. Uh, I'm not sure. Wish I got my bag. Uh, but uh, uh, yesterday I interviewed a, a terrific actress, uh, um, uh, Carolina uh, Crescentini. Crescentini. I've seen her yesterday. No, I've seen her before. I've seen And uh, 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 another actress. I, I can't feel the name. Brilliant, brilliant Italian actress. Uh, and, and it's difficult because I don't have all my faces. And the inhabitants of my village, the townspeople that are trapped in the town, uh, I want them to represent all of humanity, all of men. And also sometimes it's just a question of age, matching the faces of the way of somebody who can be too young. Have you continued your negotiations with Rob Bova? No, um, we, we loved Rob Bova and we met him last time here in, in Rome. And, uh, but Rob is uh, now committed. It's too late. We're starting way too late to approach him because he's committed now for the rest of the year to the projects.
Very, it's very disappointing to my wife. <laughs> It's better for me. I think we'll probably say action sometime towards the end of, uh, of March. It's tricky, but I, you know, because we are, I use words. Uh, kind of stream of consciousness. But if I had to describe it from this in a convoluted sentence, it's a dark, very dark fairy tale with serious themes. A witch, uh, if, 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 I was to be, if I was to be sensationalistic, on a sensationalistic poster I would say, a fallen priest, a fallen angel, a dead girl. Who will win? Elements, elements of uh, of a Kafka, Kafka story, even though it's inspired by Gogol, it, I don't use the, any of the humor of Gogol. The surreal is much darker. Gogol inspired us and then we stole our characters and, and, and the, some, of, some ideas from Gogol. But uh, it's much more Kafka-esque and a bit like uh, the, the feeling of mystery like the old, when I was a uh, the, the old um, Twilight Zone. And more recently, in the mystery aspect, you find in the films of M. Night Shemaya. Sixth Sense, the Bellagio, the Lady in the Lake. Eh, in questo periodo in America c'è una situazione di di no? I have to go back for Super Tuesday. Yeah. I fly the money. And uh, and it, it's well it's interesting, you know, I, I just want someone from the Democratic Party that will win. <laughs> get the Democrats back. <laughs> no, more, no more Bush, no more Republicans. But uh, I think the election of Barack Obama would go very far to healing uh, the new wounds that America has with the rest of the world. Because without a new president uh, of that much, it's that different. I think it will take a long time for the healing to be with America's relationship uh, around the world. I've been traveling since 1980 abroad. I went to school in the late 60s. And you sense the difference. You sense the animosity that I never sensed before. And I'm, I'm, I'm privileged because I travel as a and say cinema. We all in cinema, but uh, you know, you 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 you, you feel like you, you feel like you need to try to explain, you know, to the Europeans. You know, not all of us <laughs> agree with what our government is doing. Sente questa animosità contro l'America e 